Let's take a look at how to calculate the molarity for sodium hydroxide, that's NaOH. Molarity equals moles over liters. So if we could find the number of moles and the number of liters, if we had those values, we'd be done. We could just calculate the molarity, divide moles by liters. Sometimes you're given grams, so you have to convert the grams to moles. Sometimes you're given milliliters. You need to convert the milliliters to liters. So when we're calculating the molarity of NaOH here, it really depends on what values we're given. If we're given something simple, so molarity equals moles over liters, say we were given 6.0 moles of sodium hydroxide in 12.0 liters. In this case, we just divide 6 by 12. That gives us 0 0.5 moles per liter, which would just be 0 0.5 big M, if you wanted to write it that way, from molar. So if you're given moles and liters, you just divide. What if you're given grams, though? Let's say we're given 123.2 grams of sodium hydroxide, and we want to calculate the molarity of that in 12 liters. So we need to convert this to moles. We do that by dividing by the molar mass of sodium hydroxide. If you need help with molar mass, there's a link at the end of the video. When we do this, the grams cancel out. We'll end up with 3.1 moles of sodium hydroxide. So let's put our 3.1 moles here. When we divide, we end up with 0 0.26 moles per liter, or 0 0.26 molar. So if you're given grams, you've got to convert those to moles. What about liters? What if we had milliliters instead of liters? So let's say we have 6,000 milliliters. So we need to convert this to liters. We do that by dividing by 1,000. So we end up with 3.1 moles over 6 liters, if you do the math. So the point is, if you're given grams, you need to get those to moles. If you're given milliliters, you need to get those to liters. This is Dr. B taking a look at the molarity of NaOH, sodium hydroxide. Thanks for watching.